sports in general and football in particular is now the emerging giant of social economy. The economy of sports has been underrated in that petition from LAM that it has a potential of 302 billion shillings, which is the equivalent of 3% of our GDP. Mr. Speaker, to my mind, if you were to compute that 302 that you would attract locally and factor in, Mr. Speaker, what the same players once exported to the international market in Germany, in China, in the UK, and in Spain, and to a small extent in uh, South America, you would hit almost 800 to 900 billion shillings per year. The government has to be strategic. I would like our new minister, he's youthful, to tone down on trying to please fellow youth and actually constitute a competent of technical people backed with previous experience in sports so as to inform this particular resource, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you can imagine if a football player, for argument's sake, Leon Messi, Leon Messi can actually sponsor the budget of the Republic of Kenya for six months simply because of his play, the budget of the country. So the potential is there, and we don't lack the talent. If you go to the coast, and I would like to uh, request uh, our leader, uh, uh, Senator Cherio, to take it easy. Football is in genes. Just like athletics in the genes of the people living around the Rift Valley, Kapsabit, and so on. If I was to ask uh, you to try your talents uh, in football, which you love very much, you can stay exactly 40 minutes without, without touching the ball if you are playing in Kakamega, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, with a light touch. <laughs> I, I like the reward. Eh?